Okay, time for Bandit level 28 to level 29. Um, so we have a level goal. There is a git repository at this URL. Um, the password for the user bandit 28 git is the same as for the user bandit 28. Clone the repository and find the password for the next level. So this is exactly the same as before, right? So we're going to do exactly what, the same as what we did for last the last exercise. We're going to make ourselves a, a temp folder to work in and cd over to that. And just that I've got the password um, at hand, I'm just going to quickly cat that. So that's the password for Bandit28, just so that we can use it in a second. And we're going to git clone. And we're going to be git cloning this. Okay. So we git clone like we did before and just hit enter. And we uh, get asked if we want to connect, which we do. And we get asked about this um, about this password, which we're going to take just from here. And hit enter. And you can see how it's downloaded stuff again. It's made this repo. So when we click ls or write ls, we have this git repo now, which we can cd into, and ls. And like before, we've got a readme uh, document. So let's have a look at that readme document and see what it says. Bandit notes, some notes for level 29 of Bandit. Credentials, username Bandit29, password, a load of X's. Now I don't suspect that the password is a load of X's. It looks like this has been um, sort of erased, right? But it was for Bandit29, which is what we want. Um, okay, so what do we, what do we do now? Well, this is a Git repository, so there could have been many versions of this file or set of files um, that have changed over time. So we need to look at the the log. We use a command called git log and hit enter. And that shows us the different commits. Now a commit is when you've when you've sort of um, you know finalized a version essentially. Um, so this top one here is the is the one we're currently at. And you can see how it's got this information. It says fix info leak. So something has been changed. Here we've got this add missing data. And here we've got an initial commit. So let's just start at the, the first version of the file and see what and see what we can see. So how do we get there? Well that is using a command called git checkout. Now git uses hashing um, as its way of uh, storing things. Um, so you're going to get these hashes and they're, they're the different um, the different versions and that's what we're going to have to use with the git checkout. So for instance we can copy this hash and if we now inside this git repo use git checkout with that hash it will give us sort of a warning uh, about being in detached head state but that's fine we don't need to worry about that right now but you can see it's now head is basically a pointer it's pointing to which commit we're on which version so it's now saying that we're on this particular version with the the message initial commit of readme md so if we ls we've got readme.md the same as before but if we now cat we have this bandit notes the same as before again but now we have this password tbd I guess that's just to be decided, right? So no luck. The first version didn't have what we were after. But then, okay, add missing data in the second version, right? So this second version's looking good. So let's just copy this. You don't actually have to copy this whole hash. I think you can give just the first sort of like six or seven digits and it will still work with the checkout. But I'm just going to do the whole lot because why not? So let's check out the second version which is now where it says add missing data. And if we ls, we've just got the readme file again. And if we cat, there you 
you go, look. And this version of the file has the password. So I hope that makes sense. Um, we're using some of the features of Git now to, to sort of um, change between versions of the files. And you can see how it's really useful because it doesn't change anything in the working directory. That stays, that just gets replaced and changed to the different versions that we're after. Um, Git is super powerful like that. Um, but anyway, I hope you understood what we did there. Uh, git log, git checkout, the new commands we've just used. Okay, um, I'll see you in the next one.